few things different, strange, and unusual. Uh, today we are going to be taking two words and you're gonna watch me live make it in front of you. Uh, I'm going to be creating uh, a laid back, so two L words today, laid back lobster, a laid back lobster. And here we go, we're gonna be drawing this very cute laid back lobster. So grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, let's unbox or crack open this pack of markers. Not sponsored. I just like these ones. Ah! Great unboxing. Okay. All right, markers at work. Here we go. We're doing laid back lobster. Here we go. Let's start off with laid back lobster's front claw. We're going to do a nice curving line on the front. Zigzag up. Then a curving line below. Anytime you need me to stop or work slower, just hit that pause button and hit play when you're ready to continue. And we're gonna zigzag back across. Now this is a laid back lobster. Remember on this channel, we do things a little bit different. Uh, when you're a subscriber, you know that. I like to do things different. I take two words, smush, smush, smush together to make uh, something extra amazing and artistic. That, and that's what's different from this channel and every other channel. These are just, I'm making it up on the spot and strange and unusual. So if you like strange and unusual and different things, you are in the right space. All right, here we go. Square on the back. Little arm. Okay, laid back lobster. Let's give laid back lobster a face. We're gonna draw a nice curving line. So from up from the middle of that claw, up and across. And then down. On the face, we're gonna draw a nice little curving line. It's so, just so chill and happy. Give it a nice little happy, and we'll give it a little smile. I am so laid back, and I'm a lobster. Okay, give it a little antennae, and one in the back, and make it smaller so it looks like it's farther away. And we can also draw a claw in the back here that's smaller because we want it to look farther away. So we're gonna use size, smaller size, to make it look farther away. Zigzag lines, curving line below, zigzag lines back towards the head. Okay, here we go, body. So we're just gonna do rectangles that are all connected to one another. And then we'll do a tail, like that. Some lines up the tail for some tail texture. Don't you just love a brand new marker? Oh my goodness, I love it. Now I challenge you to create this laid back lobster too and if you want, you can stitch this video with you doing it as well uh, and then post that and then I can see it and we can do a little community thing together. Okay, add some little lines below the belly and then add a, oh yeah, that's for legs and then we add the belly like that. Oh yeah, look how relaxed this lobster is. That is a happy, happy, relaxed lobster. It's just laid back. Yeah, okay. Uh, if you want it to be extra cute, add a little cheeky cheeky, like that. And add some lines for some extra details. So once we do the big areas, we can go now and add in some small details, right, big to small. Just going around adding some lines for some extra detail, and boom! Doesn't that look extra something? Laid back lobster. All right, once you're done uh, drawing your laid back lobster, all you gotta do now is color it in so you can grab whatever you would like to color with. And feel free to color in your laid back lobster with your favorite colors and art making mediums.
And once you're done, your lovely laid-back lobster is done.